Hey guys, welcome back to Decoding Studio. Today we are going to create mobile applications without writing a single line of code. Yes, you heard it right. We are going to use Chat GPT uh, tool, which is AI tool and very popular nowadays. We will use that tool and create a mobile application. For that, you don't need to write a single word. You just need to copy paste and it will be your mobile application. You can share it with your friends. You can uh, publish it to the Google Play Store as well. So uh, in this video, I'm going to cover single screen mobile application where we'll try to create two mobile applications. One is card game and second one is tic-tac-toe game. But in future, definitely we will create multi-screen mobile application where user can navigate from one screen to another screen. We will add multiple animations and we will try to add a lot of interesting features. So before moving forward, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave a comment. And now let's dive in. First of all, we will create a basic React Native project. For that, we are just going to take a help from ChatGPT and you just need to open this link and it will open this ChatGPT uh, screen. And here you just need to enter uh, how to create React Native Expo project. It will let you know all the implementation step by step and you, you can follow this and you can create your uh, brand new React Native project that will run on Expo. So uh, basically first of all you just need to install Node.js and NPM in your machine and after that you just need to run this command. It will create an Expo CLI in your machine globally so you can use Expo. Once this uh, command uh, runs successfully and after that you can use this Expo in order to create your project. So you just need to run expo in it and your project name, whatever project name you want to give your project. And then you just need to go to your project directory. For that, you just need to go to CD and your project name. Once you are uh, reached your project directory, then you just need to run this command expo start and that's it. It will open a you know simulator or you can run it on a device. How we can do that? I will show you in the next part of this video. You can see I have already created a, a project using uh, the same commands here and now I'm just going to run expo start expo start now you can see a QR code here and a bunch of other things that I'm going to explain now so for example like if you want to test your app inside your physical device Android or iOS for Android, you just need to install Expo Go app from Google Play Store and you can scan this QR code and it'll, your app will, like whatever code you have written, uh, based on that, your app will run on your device. And if you're using iOS app like iPhone, then you just need to open your camera and scan this QR code and you will get that app. That's simple. But here I'm going to use simulator. So for Android emulator, you just need to press A. For iOS simulator, you just need to press I. So I'm just going to press I here and it will open this app here in this simulator. Okay, so our first app is here. And now we are going to create different apps using uh, chat GPT. So let me show how we can do that. Now we'll create a tic-tac-toe game and uh, let's see how we can do that. So React Native... Um, app code to create tic tac toe game okay so it's generating all the code required for tic tac toe It'll write all the styling and uh, components required to in order to create a React Native project. So you just need to copy paste and it will start working. Okay. So first of all, you just need to create a file uh, name as Tic Tac Toe Game. So let's quickly go to our VS Code and here just create a new file called as this Tic Tac Toe Game and JS and here copy this code and paste it here okay and then go to app.js or simply you can copy this code 
and you can replace app.js code with this code okay so now i'm going to run this npx expo start i need to press i in order to run on simulator see okay so we have this uh tic tac toe app and player x turns so i'll say x here now player uh, zero is turn so zero is here x is here and zero is here again x turns so x is here and zero is here uh, let's say um, zero turn x turns uh, zero turns or x turns so you see player x wins we can restart this game okay x again win so this is the game that you can create using chat gpt and uh, share with your friends as well let's say uh now we are we can create a, another game uh, so i asked write, uh, write a react native app code to create a card game using emojis so chat gpt generate this code let's try to run this and see what will happen so i just copy and uh, let me paste here okay oh sorry so basically we just need to create another file and give it a name uh, card game dot js paste here and go to app dot js and import that card game and that's it let's try to run it now and pro expo start I'm pressing i but it's already open so i need to close this first and let me press i now okay so okay so now we have a uh, emoji memory card game so let me press here this ice cream dog love pizza okay pizza i found pizza see both are matched now okay so now you can uh, uh, improve this app by using you know your own logics you can add uh, logics to restart the game you can uh, count the step like how many step users took to uh, complete this game so you can make it more interactive and uh, you can publish this app to the google play store and uh, you can share it with your friends as well and if you want me to create a video how we can publish this app to the google play store just write down in the comment and definitely i'll try to create another video where i where i will explain how we can uh, uh, publish uh, android and ios app to the google play store and app store okay that's all about this video and uh, in this video we we have seen like how we can create a single page application where we have created a card game we have created a tic tac toe game and in future we will create another video where i'll explain how we can navigate between screen how we can create a multiple screen apps we can jump from one screen to another screen we'll add try to add animation and other uh, other features using chat gpt you don't need to write a single line of code and if you want that video so just subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed or like or share or comment on this video and see you in the next video